Hi everyone, um, we're looking at uh, Barry's photo of a monkey and how we can, can look at how we can uh, remove some of the distractions, uh, remove some of the bright highlighted areas um, and just generally try and balance the photo out a little bit um, and here we go. So it's a JPEG so you haven't got quite the control um, over the depth of colour that uh, you'd have with a RAW but um, uh, this will work out fine anyway. So first thing we'll, we'll do is we'll just uh, duplicate uh, the original photo so that uh, if we do need to go back and correct something uh, we later uh, regret, um, we can do so. Right, so we'll work on the uh, duplicated background. So the first thing we'll do is we'll get rid of some of the distractions. So uh, we'll pick the in-painting tool and if we just do an edge patrol to begin with, um, we've got a little little leaf down here. If we just run over that, that will remove the leaf. Uh, we've got another one here, just going up. Uh, that's not too bad. That looks okay. Bit of a funny one there. We'll just remove that. And if we work down. Right, that's, uh, that's about it. Okay, so the edges are done now. Uh, that's always a good place to start. The other big distraction is this, um, I don't know what it is, uh, some sort of man-made object. And I think it'd be nice to get rid of that. So I'll just increase the uh, size here and I'll just run it over that. I'll stay away from the pore because we want to maintain that and if I just take that part out. And around here what we'll do is we'll do some uh, cloning instead. So we just go to the clone tool. Now what we need to do is pick an area uh, we want to clone from. So I'll just pick up here and as we move down you can actually see um, what it's going to actually clone in before you press the button. And we just move down and start clicking and cloning in, there we go, and I think that will do. I don't think anybody will see anything. It's just uh, this bit here is a bit hazy, so I'll just redo that area. If we come down here, we'll have to re pick our sampling area. So I'll pick about here, and again, I can just match that in, resample. I'll just pick here and here, let's work our way down, pick over here somewhere, just get a bit of difference. There we go, and I won't, I don't want to lose the fur, so I'll leave that as it is. If we zoom out, you won't notice um, that. Pretty much done that area. Um, this bit here is uh, distracting me a little bit. Let's just move that. Okay. So, oh, got one area here, just, um, in painting tool, reduce the size, and if we just run over uh, the item, and just a final click here, there we go, there we go, that's all the distractions gone. So next step is remove this blue area here, which is uh, quite distracting from the overall tone of the uh, image. So what I want to do is uh, do a HSL uh, change. So if I click on the bottom here and pick HSL, it'll get a little color wheel come up. Now normally, um, if I just change it, it's the, the entire photo will change. It's doing all colours at the same time. Um, if I reset that, I just double click, go back to the normal colour. I just want this colour here. So if I pick on cyan and then pick the picker, and I can hold the shift key down to get several picks. So I'll just pick within this area here, and you'll see the colour wheel. That's the selected area. 
So it's going to change that colour but fade out either side. Now what I can do is just um, I want to sort of match that colour which is around here. So if I just move that slider over and we'll get into the same sort of colours but it's a bit bright. So if I just um, reduce the uh, saturation until it's more in line with the rest of the image and I think that's pretty good there uh, and I can change the luminosity as well so I can darken it or lighten it and I'm happy with that I don't think anybody would notice that was different so that's that done um, we've got quite a lot of bright light in the sky here uh, in the foliage um, we've also got an imbalance on the face so we've got one side which is quite dark and the other quite light so I'd like to balance that out a little bit oh and before I go any further another distraction go to the background in painting tool and just reduce my brush size and just tidy up his face a little bit there we go just remove that that area there there we go that's a bit tidier or oh, one this bit here there we go so it's a bit tidier so okay back to this um, we want we'll use a gradient to uh, bring this side down uh, from the top corner of the photo down to the monkey and we'll use a uh, brightness contrast adjustment on here um, just to balance the face out a little bit okay so what we want to do is um, basically insert a new fill there it's just white and then we want to add a gradient to it so this is a gradient tool now if I just pull the gradient down um, if I hold the uh, shift key down it will lock it to 45 degree angles or I can just do it free form now we can't see what's going on here yet um, but basically I want the dark uh, to be near the top and white down the bottom so if I click on that uh, end and then pick my color you can see that gray there what I'll do is I'll make that end black and the other end should be white yeah it's okay white um, and then what I want to do is blend it with the background so if I click on uh, this option here we can darken that's not very nice multiply that works that's not too bad linear burn lighten definitely not overlay no a bit harsh uh, quite light soft light hard lights too much so let's go back up I think I'll just go for multiply for the moment so that's having the uh, effect of darkening it now, I don't want it completely black so I can actually move that outside and then I've got a little point in the middle where I can change where the transition between full effect and no effect occurs so basically past this point here there's no effect um, so I can oops let's move that back out again so I can bring that down and that's having a quite a dramatic effect on that so it's probably a little bit over but it's easier to show okay so what I now want to do is obviously I don't want it to affect the monkey so I can go to my paintbrush I'm still on the fill there and basically um, I don't want it to have an effect so just pick the white paintbrush you see here the fill there black to, to white sorry got to put a mask on that always helps and pick black Now you can see here if I move over you can see that if I put it here it would start removing the black but I just want it on the monkey itself 
hardness is zero at the moment because you want to gradually take take this off there we go just take it out just obviously it's not having any effect here but it will have an effect over here and if I go too far I can just pick the white brush and just add that back in back to black brush and I just want to increase the lightness on, on, the, on the monkey itself don't really want it on the tree too much here so let's just take a little bit out here and there we go so we've darkened down the background quite a bit now we've got the imbalance uh, on the face so what I can do is uh, pick a uh, brightness and contrast if I zoom in so if I adjust the brightness so that the bright area there matches more that side and I can just bring that down it doesn't really matter how much because what I'm going to do now is uh, invert that layer so it removes the change I'm now going to pick my paintbrush and I'm going to reveal where I want that um, darkness to come on this side here so um, I've got hardness, I'm going to reduce the opacity down so it has a um, small effect. I can just paint it in until it, I think it sort of matches the other side. So the, the face is more balanced. There we go. Have we got any other bright areas? Um, I think that's okay. Maybe down here, uh, just reduce that. And certainly here, we don't want that little bright spot here. We just reduce that down. So now the face is much more balanced. And let's just uh, try off and on again. Now I've probably gone too far that side. So just pick that and just remove that side until I'm happy with the effect. There we go. So I'm happy with that. Another thing is the, the eyes. Um, I want to bring those out a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll pick my selection tool. And if I just pick the middle of each eye, and I'll just hit refine. Um, I want to say this part of the eye is foreground. There we go. And it blends it out, so and I can either feather the edges a little bit if I want to, uh, just a tiny bit. There we go. So that's our that's our selection. So if I apply that, and what I can do, again I'll use the HSL uh, slider. So if we just bring those up here, um, I want to increase the saturation slightly. Just bring that up, and bring up the brightness ever so slightly hardly at all um, the nice thing of course is I could change the monkey's uh, eye colour if I really wanted to but uh, let's not do that ok fairly happy with that and again whilst I'm here um, I can add some sharpening um, I don't think it really needs it but just to show you that it works right so what I need to do is um, just blend that uh, linear light and as I increase the radius you can get, see them getting sharper I generally don't go over one pixel so that's where we are at the moment it looks slightly soft but I am really zoomed up just just a tiny bit that will do uh, remove the uh, selection let's just move out and you can see the eyes are a little bit more prominent now than they were um, so if I just turn that on and off there you go and that's pretty much it um, now I might want to lighten the whole um, photo up and what I'll do is I'll use a curves adjustment and what I want to do is I can I can just raise raise the darks 
ever so slightly, but keep keep the um, keep the light areas um, where they were. Uh, yeah, I think that's. Whoops. Whoop. Uh, reset. Let's just bring that down. Okay. Um, okay, that's what we got. So what I'll do is uh, if I select all of the layers and just turn them off. So that's what we had. And this is what we've got now. So I think you've, you'll see the monkey is much more prominent in the photo. It's all down to taste, um, but I think that's probably slightly better balanced. Um, and there we go. Thank you very much.